Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations in Miles Edgeworth. As soon as we left off, our plane landed, I'm assuming our destination, but, well, now the investigation is going, um, well, going full blow and on our way. And of course, as soon as we land, who would show up but Francis Gumbon Karma? And, well, yeah, she's giving us a hard time because, uh, she's trying to prove that we did it. And, well, how can she do that? Well, right now we're just going to go ahead and still investigating around, and now we're going to go ahead and talk to um, Rhoda, who is uh, in this uh, road, uh, the flight attendant's room. Hmm. There you go. So, uh, yeah, they kept saying her, her interview was taking really long, so it's like, what the hell's going on there? So let's go ahead and talk to her for a little bit. So you're the one that poked around inside a plane without the captain's permission. Deviating from the flight attendant's manual is very unbecoming, you know. What were you hoping to accomplish by doing that? I... I... Woman. Oh, Mr. Edgeworth, you're here too? Can you please help us and shed some light on why you did what you did? Alright. And now we can actually just talk to her and see why she did what she did. So, the whole thing about the captain's permission, it's like, yeah, you said that we had it, but then you go ahead and say that, you, that we never had it in the first place. Why would you do that? Why'd you lie about receiving the captain's permission like that? Because I didn't think I would be able to get his permission. What do you mean? The captain, he only has ears for Cammy. I spoke with the captain a little earlier myself. He definitely seems to be rather taken with Miss Mealy. Yes, and on top of that, I had mistakenly accused Mr. Edgeworth of being the killer. I wanted to make amends. In that case, please allow me to thank you for what you did. Thanks to you, I was able to clear myself of all charges. Really? You were able to prove your innocence? Oh, thank goodness. Woman, is it? There's one more thing I'd like to ask of you. You were in the in-flight shop just before the turbulence, weren't you? Please answer honestly. Yes, I was. And why were you in there? Well, I... Hmm? Why does sudden hesitation? This guy seems to have struck a nerve. Hmm... That doesn't really bode well, but you know, we really need to figure out why. All I did was go check up on the shop like I always do. You're saying it was for the work then? Yes, I'm in charge of the shop, so I had to keep an eye on it. I don't have any reason to go there otherwise. After you visited your shop, you paid a visit to this room, correct? Yes, I came back to freshen up and adjust my makeup. I'm sorry, but there isn't much else to tell. Hmm. She claims to have no reason other than duty to go to the shop. But is that all there is to it? Maybe we should ask her about that thing. And, well... We know that she designed the suitcase. So... Maybe she would know. Maybe there's something she can tell, tell us about this. If you could please take a look at this for me, woman. Oh, that suitcase! Yes, about the suitcase. You were the one who designed it, correct? And I think I figured something else out about it. The suitcase is a reason you went to the shop, isn't it? There's nothing you will find out eventually, is there? Won't you please tell me more about the suitcase? Yes, um, I... Well, I... I was interested in seeing how the suitcases I had designed were selling. I... I know that was a service that was a service special, I'm not supposed to care, but but I really wanted to know. And I was glad to see that it was the last one there. Last one there? Last one there? What the hell? No! There there, there wasn't. As far as I can tell. So you're saying that the suitcase in question was the last one there? Yes, they're just so popular they're practically flying off the shelves. That's not exactly the impression I got. The one in the shop was most definitely the last one. Well, we're currently looking at the suitcase. Really? Then I guess we sold all of them. Thank you very much for make taking the last one. I didn't say anything about buying it. Then say you buy it. I I'm sorry, I can't. But why? It's disgusting. I think it'll go great with your complexion, Mr. Edgeworth. That really suits you. I guarantee you personally as a service professional. Um, well, that is a... how should I put this? It's hideous. 
Wow. Okay, I wasn't gonna be that blunt, but okay. What? Hmm. Maybe that was a bit too direct. No, no, Edgeworth. No. That was the best way to ever bring out some news. And I understand people can be blunt like that, but geez, yeah, put her down softly. But uh, whatever. Moving on. Then he just, you know, whatever. It's like passes it off. Nothing, nothing important there. My issue with the suitcases isn't design. It's the number of them remaining. Remaining? There were two sick, two suitcases in the flight shop when I investigated it. Two? But that's impossible. I'm sure there was only one. Looks like her story has generated quite the contradiction. When I left the shop, I'm positive there was only one suitcase left. Something is amiss here. What could be the meaning of this inconsistency? Hmm. By the way, why is one of your little suitcases doing here? Um, that's... I thought you said there was only one left. That one is, um, it's mine. I've used it for a very long time now. She's used it for a long time. I think not. I'd appreciate if you wouldn't lie to me. Excuse me? I don't believe for even one second that you use this for a very long time. What proves that this has been used for nearly as long as she says? And, well, there is a tag. And, you know, generally, in our society, when you get something new, you kind of, like, take the tag off or you take something off of it. So it shows that it's been used. So, yeah, I believe I, I can see what, what Adjurf was coming from. I mean... It's just hard to say that you've used this for a long time if the tag is still on it. And I really don't know anyone, for that matter, who actually uses stuff with the tag still on it. To me, I find that stupid. And actually, I know there are like there are some like fads out there where like people buy like hats or you know whatever they have to leave the sticker on them or a tag on them. And it's like no, no, just take it off. So yeah, I mean yeah, this tag. Tell me, is it also your habit to keep the price tag pristine on your suitcase? Ah! What is the meaning of this? Why would you lie about a suitcase? Despite having faith in her design sense, the sales numbers made her cry bitter tears. The truth is becoming increasingly clear to me. Hmm. I think I understand. I know what you were trying to hide. Now then, the suitcase was originally in... I would say it was in the shop, because I don't know where else it would be. Seeing as how the price tag is still on the suitcase, one can only assume it was out of the floor for sale in the shop. And the person who bought the suitcase was... Uh, none other than herself, because I think, yeah. Because like, like I just said, she was crying bitter tears when she saw the sales of those suitcases. Maybe she just wanted more recognition for her work. Take that. It was you, wasn't it? I hate to say this, but this suitcase that you designed, it hasn't sold very well, has it? You saw how poorly this design that you poured your heart into was selling, and were deeply hurt. That's why you wanted to make it look like it was selling by buying it yourself. Isn't that right? Then, the reason you went to the shop and came back here was... I'm sorry! All I really have is my job. I... I was overjoyed when my design was chosen. I thought that maybe... Maybe I had finally accomplished something. But the suitcase didn't sell. It's because of the design, isn't it? Well, because it's always, as you put it, hideous. I can't say they chose a great place in which to sell them, either. You weren't selling a single one, and they were just sitting there collecting dust. I felt so bad seeing them there, seeing them there day in, day out, so I decided to buy one for every flight I worked. You buy one every single time you work on a flight? I see. So in order to keep your resolution, you went and bought one today as well. Yes, and here's my receipt for that purchase. Hmm, this receipt is clearly timestamped 5.40 a.m. How much did she buy this thing for? I mean, I feel bad for her paycheck now. The truth is, there's still a bunch of time left unsold. A bunch of them left unsold. 
We're planning to scrap the remaining ones at the end of this flight. Scenario, where are these other suitcases? They should all be down the cargo hold. Then the suitcase the killer used could very well have been come from the cargo hold. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, you don't think the killer used one of my suitcases to... Yes, I do. The killer used one of your beloved suitcases to move the victim's body. Ah! Uh, how could they? Those suitcases were meant to be faithful partners to our passengers on their trips. That's all I ever wished for them to be. Is there any other way to get to the cargo hold other than the elevator? The only other way is just through the door he there. And what about security? The door has no special lock installed because, well, just to enter this room, you need a special key card that only crew members have access to. Which means that the culprit is someone who can enter this room, eliminating the passengers and leaving only crew members as potential suspects. I can't believe it! Yes, Francisca. Going on these wild goose chases, you're a disgrace to the Von Karma name! And what do you mean by that? The suitcase came from the cargo hold. That fact alone tells the whole story. Yes, which is why I said the culprit must be a crew member who used their key card. Miles Edgeworth! You're proposing that the killer rode the elevator from the cargo hold, correct? Yes, that's the only realistic possibility. The other attendant, Miss Mealy, I asked her earlier and she said she had this to say. She got information on Miss Mealy? <laughs> In order to make the elevator go down to the cargo hold, a different key card is required. A different one? Yes, and the only person who holds that particular card is you, Miss Rhoda. And only you! Ah! Oh, really? What? Is this true? Yes, I keep that key card in my locker at all times. Could you please show us that card right now? Yes, hold on. Ah! I... I don't believe it! What's wrong? The keycard! It's... It's gone! Oh no, what a shock! I didn't see that one coming from a mile away. <laughs> Very clever. Pretending that your card was stolen when in fact you're just trying to hide it from us. You really thought this one through. Wait! It's not like that! You can tell us about what it's like down at the station. Officer, arrest this woman! Yes, ma'am! Mr. Edgeworth! Is he just gonna let her go? No! No! What's wrong? There's disbelief written all over your face! Francisca, I know that you are the lead investigator in this case, however... Hold it! Don't even think about wasting any more of my time! You know the rules as well as I do. Evidence speaks louder than words. Even if this isn't a courtroom, this that basic tenet still applies. I intend to investigate the cargo hold now. What will you do, Miles Edgeworth? I intend to do likewise. And we'll be doing that next time, uh... We, after we save the game. So, yeah, there goes, uh... Huh. I don't know. I mean, it's looking really bad for Rhoda right about now. I feel really bad, though. It just doesn't seem like she can do it. Not at all, and I really feel bad about the whole suitcase scenario there. I mean, that song at all? Yeah, that would uh, put a damper in anyone's mood. Okay, just imagine, say, you, say they picked your design for something that everybody was going to look at, and, you know, oh, they were going to sell, but... Lo and behold, and no one is buying them. How the hell did that make you feel? Yeah, make you feel like crap. So, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily do the same thing. Maybe I would buy one, just maybe one, but well, she buys one every single time she goes out, you know, onto a flight. Yeah, I can imagine that really stacking up on her paycheck, unless she gets paid good. I mean, who knows? This game takes place, like, in, what, 2016, 18? I forgot. It takes place, uh... You know, distant future, I guess. You know, a couple years from now. Uh, and what was it? Um, what the hell was I going to say? Shoot. Uh, hmm, I lost my train of thought. So, yeah maybe, uh, yeah, maybe because it takes place in the future a little bit, maybe she gets paid better than what most flight attendants do now. 
I don't even know how much flight attendants get now. I mean, I would assume they get paid decent money. You know, still make a living out of it, I guess. I mean, why the hell not? Oh, well. Mm. Oh, jeez, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I took a good nap, too. I mean, she'll be fully rusted, but whatever. So, yeah, uh, next time I guess we're going to investigate the cargo hold and uh, see what we can figure out. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations Miles Edgeworth. I'll see you guys later.